As you can imagine, a nuclear reactor accident can spread fear very quickly. Very quickly. Joining us now for some perspective is Darren Gale with Clean Energy America, a group which educates the public on nuclear energy. First thing, I guess, in education, and this is uh, after this situation, is right. can it happen here, and are we in any danger of radiation from what's happening in Japan? So, of course, we can have an earthquake here and tsunami in the United States, and each of the plants uh, are designed to withstand that. So, in this particular situation in Japan, when the earthquake happened, the reactor shut down, everything was normal. When the tsunami came through, the tsunami took out off-site power, but more importantly, it swept away the fuel tanks that were the backup to the off-site power, the uh, emergency diesel generators. In this country, those emergency diesel generator fuel tanks are all underground. So where in Japan they were swept away when the water came through, here in this country we would not have the same situation because those fuel tanks are underground and are protected, uh, protected more. Mm -hmm. So we still might have accidents here and we of course design against those, but sure. this particular situation would not be the same now in the, the U.S. The concern right now at Fukushima is that the, the cooling mechanism is not not operational, correct? Right, so, right, what exactly right. happens when it, it it can no longer be cooled? Right. So again, what you and what you're seeing is it continues to heat up. Uh, so the decay heat still exists in the reactor even when it's shut down. And so, if you don't continue to cool it, it will continue to heat up. You'll the steam will be created. You'll uncover the fuel rods, and you'll get to have some damage of fuel rods. So, what you're hearing, what the workers are trying to do is to continuously get cooling water in there. So, you hear them, they set up fire pumps to pump in seawater, and that was a very, very last resort for them. So, the workers, very heroic actions with these workers. They should be really commended for what they're doing to, to continue to keep the reactor safe. With what we're hearing from, nu uh, from the nuclear uh, energy plant in mm -hmm. Japan, right. Are you concerned about what's happening over there? I mean, you, your knowledge base is a lot right. better than right. all of ours. Right. Are you concerned? Yeah, I mean, clearly, you know, for the, from the safety of the people, uh, you know, radiation, of course, is a scary thing for all of us. It, but radiation can be good and it can be bad, and it's all about the level mm -hmm. of the radiation. And we can measure that to the minute degree. So we know where it's safe and where it's not safe. They've evacuated everyone outside where you know the zones that where there would be any damage so from a person uh, people standpoint mm -hmm. we're not so concerned anymore because they've taken the precautions that they need to but clearly this nuclear asset and and saving it that's where the concern is where, where they're at now they're really just it's really all about safety now I think right. these particular nuclear assets have probably been lost so mm -hmm. they will probably not get to use them again so of course that is concerning whenever you see that happen Okay, Darren Gell, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Our coverage of the disaster in Japan continues online. For more ways you can help, including information on how to donate to the American Red Cross, head to cbsphilly.com.